which is 125. So this is a curvature at that point. So last time we went over the curvature of y is equal to x squared at 1, 1. Today, we will find the circle of curvature of y is equal to x squared at 1, 1. First, let's take a look at the picture. Let's say this is how the parabola is. And here we have 1, 1. The circle of curvature is a circle so that the circle and the curve will have the same tangent line here and also the same curvature. So it's going to look like this. So it's like this. And then just draw a circle around it. Like that. Okay. Our goal is to find the equation of this circle. So we need two things. The center and the radius. The center is somewhere here. But I don't know what it is yet. I will call that h, comma k. And the radius is from here to here. I'm going to call that a. In general, the equation of the circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals the radius, which is a, and then we square that. And in fact, Whenever we have a circle, we know the curvature of the circle is equal to 1 over the radius. Therefore, we know the radius is equal to 1 over the curvature. And in fact, last time, we have found that when we have y is equal to x squared at x equal to 1, kappa, the curvature, is equal to 2 over square root of 125. So in fact, we can see that a is just equal to the reciprocal of that, which is square root of 125 over 2. And we can put that right here. Now, we just had to find out where the center is. If we can do that, then we'll be done. But what do we do? Calculus and algebra. Have a look. First, I'm going to utilize the tangent line. So I'm going to just say, here we have the tangent line, or tangent dash line. I don't have enough. Well, I have a green one. Let's see. Here, tangent line. There, tangent line. Okay, I meant tangent line. Seriously. All right, what's the slope of the tangent line? The derivative, right? So, let's see. Y prime is just going to be 2x. At x equal to 1, so the slope m is just equal to 2 for this line. Good. Now, can we do some geometry? Yes. Whenever we have a circle, the radius is always going to be perpendicular to the tangent line. So this right here is perpendicular. And we know the slope of the tangent line is 2. So the slope right here, I will call that m perpendicular it's just the opposite sign and then reciprocal. So we get negative 1 over 2. So we have the slope of the blue line. And of course, we have the point here. It's just 1, 1. Point and the slope. We can write an equation for this line. So let's see. Let me just write this down right here for you guys. We have y minus y1 equals the slope and then times x minus x1. And of course, here's the x1, y1. Plug in. So y minus y1 equals negative 1 half, x minus 1, yeah, y1 is 1. And then just work this out. So y minus 1 equals negative 1 half x plus 1 half, and then plus 1 on both sides. y equals negative 1 half x, 1 half plus 1, that's 3 half. So this is the equation for the blue line. Now, how can we use it though? Our goal is to get a connection between h and k. Since h and k lies on this line, so we can put h and k into here and here. h for x and k for y. So we get k equals negative 1 half h and then plus 3 over 2. So this is the connection between h and k. Now, 
Again, our goal is to figure out h and also k. Mm, we will have to connect this equation and that equation together though. Well, the circle has the point 1, 1. So we can put 1 and 1 into x and y. And now we can also put this right here for k. And then we also know the a is this. So with that being said, we can get an equation in terms of just h. So let's go ahead and get to work. So I will just say this and that we will end up with and also and also this. All three things together. So I will have 1 for x minus h we don't know yet squared plus y is 1 minus k which is this so I will say minus k I will just put it down like this which is in blue negative 1 half h plus 3 half squared equals a squared which is that squared so I will say the square root of 125 over 2 and then square so this is just going to be a quadratic equation in terms of h I'm just going to tell you guys what but which one though now this is the time that we have to take a look at the picture as you can see the circle is to the left right so h has to be a negative number so not this one h has to be negative 4 so when h is negative 4 we can just put this back right here so we can see that k is going to be negative 1 over 2 times negative 4 and then plus 3 over 2 so that is 2 plus that which is 4 over well, 4 over 2 plus that so k is equal to positive 7 over 2 there we have it we have the h we also have the k so finally the answer the circle of curvature equals x is x minus h is negative 4 so it becomes plus 4 square that plus k is 7 over 2 so y minus 7 over 2 square that equals a square which is just this square and I'll write it down as 125 over 4 and there we have it this is the equation for the circle of curvature for that